I want to go straight to our resident comedian and Huffington Post blogger, Bill Santiago, now. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Randy. Let's love, do it. Love what do you the want to pink. talk about? I'm loving the pink on you. Uh, well, so, uh, thank you. Thank so you. everyone is talking about Eastwood's speech, uh, more than Romney's speech, in fact. Uh, this can't be good for the candidate, can it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be Romney's night, and it was completely upstaged by uh, Eastwood's uh, keynote uh, embarrassment uh, of the evening. And I want to say I love the guy. I love his movies. But when he makes a movie, there is a script. This was live <laughs> improv by an 82-year-old guy who has obviously not been taking his ginkgo biloba. You know, he was off the cuff and off his meds. It's not a good combination for this guy. And then you, you end up with the longest, most painfully awkward senior moment in, it actually reminded me a lot of Reagan uh, after the onset. Uh, oh. that, that, that was also another option. I mean, they could have gone with the Reagan hologram, you know, but then, of course, uh, uh, you run the risk that the hologram might have gotten uh, nominated instead of Mitt, but uh, yeah. you ended up with a talking chair. I mean, the, the, him talking to... Uh, it was bizarre. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, the, the whole uh, convention was geared to humanize Romney, right? I mean, everything was about making him seem more... Uh, person like and uh, but that was such a tough sell that uh, they decided they better dehumanize Obama by making him uh, <laughs> a chair uh, visible turn him into a chair so but and, some, some people were offended uh, by by this empty chair um, do you think it was an overreaction no I mean if you think about it the first thing that uh, uh, came to my mind was the novel Invisible Man which was a 1940s novel by uh, Ralph uh, Ellison yeah. Uh, right, and it was about an African American who felt perceived as invisible by society because of his race at the time. And now here comes uh, here comes Eastwood with the updated message saying, "Look, even if you're president, if you're black, you're still invisible. Uh, we should be thankful that he didn't throw peanuts at the chair." Oh you know, my. yeah. <laughs> you know, he he went over his time. Uh, if he had uh, if he if he had stuck to it, Jan Brewer would have come out and uh, wagged her finger at the chair. I'm sure of it. <laughs> They need the music. The music should have come up to get him to exit the stage. Um, <laughs> lots of fun, Bill. Thank you. Lots of fun. Have we'll a see great you next Saturday. Time. Thank you. Bye-bye.